Welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech. On Tuesday, the 11th of August, we're going to look at uh, euro dollar now, which has been fluctuating actually in the last couple of days. It's it's sort of been looking a little bit um, corrective, uh, two negative candles in a row, decisive negative candles actually. Um, and then we've seen a bit of a turnaround today. That uh, German ZEW data has certainly helped uh, the euro bounce higher. Um, and essentially what it does is it sort of maintains what is effectively a 220 pip trading band, uh, 1695 up towards 1915. Um, and you look at how these indicators are really playing out. Well, still looks a little bit corrective, doesn't it? The bear cross that we've seen on the MACD lines, the RSI back under 70. And it's, uh, I think it's still got the capacity for pressure on 1695 and then underneath that to, uh, to slide back a little bit. But we've seen an intraday rebound in the last few hours uh, really taking off. Now, how the market responds to the old pivot around 118 big figure is the first question we need to ask. That's been a key turning point on a near-term basis on several occasions, and uh, it's rebounded towards that. It's just around there now. Um, is this now going to be the point at which the market starts to fall over again? If it does, and it starts to roll back again, I think that's a really important um, near-term indication that that is a resistance that is in place, and uh, there is a growing negative bias within the range. However, moving above 118 figure, it's sort of, at, at the least, it sort of neutralizes the uh, what's had been a corrective move. So it's uh, an important near-term resistance there. But uh, how this, how the market um, resolves what is essentially now uh, a trading range will be very important, I think, for obviously the near-term outlook. Um, I still think it's gonna, it has that capacity for a little bit of a near-term correction. How deep the correction goes will be interesting because we had a similar sort of situation back early into mid-June where the market fell below that initial support and then just drifted back before the next buying came in. You've, you've got the, the uptrend that doesn't come in until 15.20. However, what you have seen are these uh, uptrends that have been broken in the last, um, the uptrends of the last few weeks, which have now been broken. So that the, the outlook is no longer looking strong bullish. It's looking at or essentially just um, media, uh, near term neutral and uh, with the threat potentially of a, of a near term breakdown and a top pattern. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars and also click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.